Hi, I'm Robert Rogers. I'm going to show you how to make a puppet that I call Snake in a Cup. To make a snake in a cup, you will need a cup. Now you can use any sort of paper cup that you have, or like me, a thin, flexible, see-through plastic cup. That's okay too. You'll need a pencil, a long one, a pair of scissors, some tape, and a piece of paper, preferably something called cardstock, which is thicker than paper, thicker and stronger. Now, I happen to have a piece here that's pink. That's just what I had on hand. Doesn't have to be pink because your snake is going to be decorated anyway. Now, you're going to draw on your cardstock a long line like this along the edge and a funny egg shape over there. Cut them out. Be careful. Take your time. Cut on the line like so. That will be your snake's body. And then the other piece, and I have already cut out one over here, that's the snake's head. Now, before you assemble the parts, I want to tell you that this will be the time when you can decorate your snake's body and snake head. You can use paints, crayons, markers, pencils, whatever you like, any kind of design that you like. You can choose the color. You can make a squiggly line, polka dots, stripes. It's entirely up to you. And of course, on the head, you might want to put two eyes. That's what I did, and I even added a tongue. Now, once you have all your parts ready, take your strip of paper and your pencil and very carefully wrap this paper strip around the pencil. Go all the way up and there you are. And then, of course, if you let go, you see it kind of opens up a little, but it's, it's like a little spring, isn't it? Now, take a piece of tape and attach it to one end of your strip. Then take your strip and attach it with the tape to your pencil. Now, you could attach it this way, but it will work a whole lot better if you lower the strip, attach it at what I say is an angle. There you go, just like that. Now, take your, your snake head, add a piece of tape to that, and attach your snake head to your snake body also on the pencil. You wanna coil up the paper just a little and you're gonna put this into your cup, but here's a little step. You might need some help with this. You're gonna to need to poke a hole in the bottom of your cup. That's why we're using a paper or thin plastic cup. So if you can, or if you need help, simply take a scissor and gently push it through and make a hole that's big enough for the pencil to slide through. Put it through, hold it down here. Take your other end of your snake and attach a piece of tape to it. Like so. Gets a little tricky, but take your time and ask for help if you have to. Tape the end of the snake to the inside of the cup and coil up your snake. If I open up the snake, you see, that's what it looks like. But if I 
twist it and coil it up. It looks like that. And by moving the pencil up and down or around, I can bring my snake to life. And so there you have Snake in a Cup. I hope you enjoy making it. It's a lot of fun to play with. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.